Assalamu alaikum, hello, welcome to my channel. This is your Niqabi sister coming back with another video. This video is part two to a previous video that I've done which talked about the power of dua. How was my dua answered, right? And it, it, my dua has been answered in the most like shocking way. And there's so many things that I've mentioned that in that video. If you haven't already seen the first part to this video, uh, please go ahead and pause this one and um, go watch that one because I don't want you to be confused. And if you have already seen that video, welcome back. I hope you also enjoy the, watching this video and that you take some great lessons from it. Um, with that being said, let's get into the video. So this video focuses on how did I manage to transfer to... Um, a university from community college to university in a in a semester when it should have took me much much longer than that I've mentioned previously um, just for a little recap that you know it was harder for me to take all the courses that I needed to transfer within a year because there was a budget cut and I could barely even get 12 units instead of you know 18 units so um, so the question is then how did I manage to transfer in that case? What happened was um, in the middle of the semester, I was, in, um, I was in the library studying for a quiz for biology class. And I had a cousin of mine who also attended the same community college as me. She came running to me and said, you know, did you heard that your school, the one you want to transfer to, is giving an opportunity for um, college students to, um, or community uh, students, students from community college, to transfer in spring. And but this is a one opportunity that they're given. They have never done something like this, and um, and I, um, I think. If my memory serves me right, I think they um, decided to um, reject so many students in fall of 2009. Um, so they decided, you know, let's open our doors to um, students from community college in spring. And the as long as the students finishes four, if they already have done four golden subjects, which, or five golden subjects, they call it, which was English, math, science, history, and communication. And um, so as long as they're done with that, they can um, transfer, they can apply for the school, and they don't necessarily have to get all the other courses that uh, was required of them initially. Well, so to my luck, I, you know, dropped everything I was doing, went to my counselor, I immediately started, you know, working on the application and had everything that I needed to that day, I make sure that I got everything that I was required, my transcript, everything done. Uh, but I just want to pause and mention this, imagine that day when I walked in biology class and I saw all these students trying to crash the class. Um, and all the other students who were already registered, imagine if I would have, you know, if that would have did, um, discouraged me. And I would have said, you know, I'll take this course next semester. Imagine that. I would have completely missed out on this opportunity. And this is why it's important that, you know, it's important to pray and make dua, which is a prayer, and to ask God a lot of, um, whatever you need because he's all knowing he's the one who knows what's going to happen in the future he knew that this opportunity will come and he knew that the only thing that i needed to take part of this opportunity was science class and alhamdulillah all praise due to god that i was able to be accepted in in, in a biology class and for that reason i was able to uh, be accepted in, in, in that school. And I took me two years to get my bachelor's degree in gerontology, which is the study of aging. Um, so yeah, I can't believe that 
what should have took me two, three years to transfer only took me a semester and all because I have made a prayer. Um, I knew God would answer my prayer, but I didn't know that <laughs> that it would be answered in this way and how quickly it was answered. I didn't expect that. By the way, I have my child on the background. She's having a great time playing. I do apologize if she, um, you know, if, 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 if her voice annoys you or anything, I do apologize ahead of time. So, um, coming back to the point, it's just the lesson that I learned from this is never underestimate the power of prayer. Never underestimate. Always ask because for whatever, for what it's impossible for you is never impossible for God. And um, I, I always ask my, I always ask myself this question like, how, why is it that this specific prayer that I did in fall of 2009, how was it different from the other prayers that I've done in the past? Because it surely wasn't answered in as quickly as this, and it was not answered in, in I guess, in a miraculous way. Uh, and I think what I was doing was the online course that I took. Remember how I mentioned that I took a, a one year and a half off and I focused on the Quran and I took this one uh, year course. Um, I think because I was so involved in the Quran, you know, I was literally taking Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, with only like 45 minute break. And because I was constantly involved in the Quran and I'm, I was constantly studying and uh, preparing lessons and, and all that, that had an impact on, on my dua. You know, we all, like, for those who don't know that there's th those who are involved in the Quran, um, you know, there's um, so many benefit from that. And one of it being your prayers will be answered. Hey guys, I kind of paused the video. I've recorded that video a while back, two weeks, I think three weeks ago. And, ever, and I never got around to editing it and posted it online for you guys or on YouTube for you guys. So it's not, so not completely finished. So I thought maybe I should pick it up from here. Um, basically what I was saying was, um, I have noticed a huge difference with my prayers Whenever I, when, whenever I'm constantly involved with the Quran, when I'm reading the Quran and acting upon the Quran, so whenever I'm just, you know, making the Quran part of my daily activity, I notice a huge difference. Whenever I make a prayer, um, it is answered very quickly, um, and uh, sometimes it's answered in a way that I never expect. Um, so I always now decide whenever I'm trying to, um, you know, make some dua or make some prayer, I <laughs> kind of pause, do some Quran recitation and I, and I, um, go ahead and, um, make my prayer. So that's basically what I was saying. And, um, I am so sorry if... My video was, it took me this long to, um, you know, upload some videos for you guys. Um, I will start again. <laughs> I just had to take a little bit break. Um, my life became very hectic. So um, if you enjoyed the video, as always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, comment down below if you have can relate to this video um, I would love to hear your um, you know your feedback and thank you so much for stopping by again I'll see you guys soon bye bye